This Highway 16 is uh, the infamous Highway of Tears. I don't know how many uh, young women have gone missing that live along this uh, highway. And it's been going on for years and years and years. There's gas in Kipsy Ox. The last one for quite a while, I think. I have two locals. How far going north to the next gas station? Neither one of them had any idea. And the one in a local with a big truck said, Oh, I don't think you can get out that way. <laughs> and uh, we'll see. It is 10 clicks north of Kipsy Ox and it's still paved and there's still mailbox delivery. Kind of a surprise. 12 and a half and she turns to gravel. Very pretty. surprised it's 25 clicks up and there's still power lines although they may be a an alternate up to the mass I don't know but uh, there was a house back at 24 and a half clicks a little bit early just before four and there is a tree down
lake. Let's try that. Kulan River. out there. One of the buggiest places I've ever camped. Yeah, like really hard to deal with. Not even gonna turn the GPS on. We'll do that out on the road where there's fewer bugs. <sighs> Nasty. Back on Kipsiok Valley Road. So this is the Mitten FSR, which the province maintains as a an alternate way out of the valley. At least that's what I read. Let's see if it's true. And this is the Kipsiox River. Look at the car parked here. So far, it's a great little road. I'm being pretty cautious because uh, I'm a long way from anyone really <laughs> but yeah it's good standard FSR pretty minimal grades so far that was a surprise must be people there yeah that's the Mitten Lake F uh, rec site actually there's a few people there surprise surprise into the Kipsy Ox Valley. And 
here's Highway 37. How you doing? Hey, I'm Good, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm Where are you coming from? Oh, we just went down to Stewart last time. Sorry? Stewart last time. Oh, okay. Well, we thought we were down there. Right? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> this is the car after I'm going. I'm going to turn it around. We're going back to the island. We're supposed to be at the ferry terminal at 530. Oh, dear God. So this guy's up from Montana. He's got a buddy somewhere behind us. Catching the ferry tomorrow at 5.30 in the morning you're supposed to be there. So I'll have to find out pretty quick. Pavement. Ashiana. He's got a memorial lava bed provincial park. It has waterfalls, pools, cinder cones, lava tree molds, lava tubes, spatter cones, lava dammed lakes, caves, and other features created by lava flows. It covers 178.93 square kilometers. The eruption of the Tiax cone is believed to be Canada's most recent volcanic eruption and lava flow. A geological disaster that killed an estimated 2,000 people. The lava flows dammed the Nass River and destroyed two villages of the Niska'a people around the year 1700. Well, that's disappointing. They only allow people into the hot springs by booking. And the next one available today is one o'clock. It's like 11 o'clock now. Ready to go on the Prince Rupert to Port Hardy Ferry.
7.51 and I'm all packed up from my little overnighter after the ferry which was very quiet and soft and a little bit cold but pretty nice so it's off to find some breakfast and some fuel Fort McNeil. Okay, very excellent breakfast. And it's warmed up a little bit. So, fuel and then uh, head off towards Wasp. The Wasp locomotive. Lost 113. Great old beast. I guess it is. Doesn't look like much from outside, but really good quality fish and uh, and huge portions. Like it was really quite good. Leaving my brother's place in Nanaimo, heading over to the ferry for like the final final bit. Boat's already in. Short wait, and off we go. Yeah, like, it's pretty good. 